This is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists from around the world. And this time we are going over to Indonesia and checking out Pucci Ariani's latest upload. Now this is, I believe, original song. Now this song is called Perfect Liar. And now this is written by Pucciarani, sung by Pucciarani, performed, composed. This is all done by her. The music video, part, apart from that, is done by a prestige production. Now, in the description page, it's got a number of accolades, thanks to Edge Ballet, executive and producer, my mum and dad, the executive producers, mum and dad. <laughs> so this is all, I love this. Because in the beginning of Pucciarani's journey, 13, 12, uh, um, you always saw the foundations. And the foundation was mum and dad. Mum and dad got out the camera, uh, well, mum got out the camera, dad done the, the mixing and producing and the, uh, and the mastering, and they uploaded it onto YouTube. So as the years are going on, you're going on, going on, just like Pucciarani's voice has been more and more established, more and more mature, so does the lessons learned, um, I believe, and the training from mum and dad when it comes to recording and mixing and mastering. Now, I'm like, I'm like wow, you know, because they put a lot of effort in this. So I, I'm going to, um, I, I, I kind of know what kind to expect because it's love. When you've got this kind of team together, it's a sheer love. They're doing it out of sheer love. So you're going to see the views, you're going to see the location, you're going to see everything is just oozing love of, of, a family, of a family orientation kind of feeling. Brilliant. I hope I've given you enough substance to say, wow, I've got to check this out. So let's check this out. Without further ado, you know what we're here for. Great vocabs and a damn good video or jam music. Can you dig it? So this is bad or bad. That's someone's house. <laughs> was that a hotel? I thought my life was done when we broke up and died. I kind of feel desperate when we were separate. Without you, without you. Okay, I know she's single. it right back now there's so much different kind of things i know like 17 i know she's single i haven't got a boyfriend um but the space where she's coming from um to deliver this we said the thoughts i thought my life was done when we broke up and i kind of feel desperate when we are separated without you without you connected to my pain i try to understand sometimes i miss you but then i hate you i miss you i miss you so you're talking about a relationship that you haven't actually been in so that's creative thought. Now, plenty of artists, you know, who have the, the writing capability have to come up with um, dialogue where it comes to whether it be from a soap or something. They've got to bring that in, bring that resource in to make a, a storyline. And there's no other different from what Pucci Ariane is doing. You know, she's looked around. She, I'm not looked around. She's experienced. Uh, I have knowledge of about um, life experience. You know, the breakup, the makeup, um, the, the heartbroken, the heart mending. And she's got so many of those type of songs right up there from amazing established artists. So I feel that it's a case of going into her catalogue to get inspired by her pairs of knowledge that she knows from that various songs and, get, and you know, gain inspiration to write her own. The music video, brilliant. This is remarkable what dad's doing right now, yeah? 
and mum no doubt has done the um, done the, uh, the the dressing and everything else with that. And then it's down to Petriani delivering what she knows best how to deliver. But overall, a family thing, brilliant, <laughs> brilliant. I'm gonna go back just a little bit, but this is dramatic. Is is. It's every quality that you would not expect from Pucciani until you press play, then you know that is Pucciani. You know? Does that make sense? I'm going to go back to a bat say here. You is hurt. I have to move on. No, no. When you said to me, I love you. You are perfect, my It's amazing, so many levels. That was Pucciariani with Perfect Liars. I Look, mate, on so many levels, so many levels, this was amazing. Number one, let's look at the lyrical contents. When I heard her do this, so many artists ran through my mind as they would bite her right hand to sing this song. You know when you get those ghostwriters writing for those A-list artists? It's one of those songs that you can pass it over to Katy Perry, um, your, uh, what's the other person that's well-known? I can't, I can't, I can't, I keep forgetting her name. Uh, um, you've got your rounders, you, you know, all those top A-list artists, female A-list artists, they all bite her hands off for this song because it had that quality. Do you know what I mean? Not, I keep Taylor Swift, there you go. It had that Taylor Swift quality, didn't it? If you picture Taylor Swift singing this song, it'd be like, whoa. So it shows you that Pucciariani, writing capability, is right up there with those ranks. Surely. And it's really, really nice that instead of passing this amazing gem of a song over to those type of artists, which is so easy to do so, yeah? She's taken upon herself to do this one. Her. No doubt in my mind... Yeah, when the world sees her as established songwriter, there's going to be every artist from from every walks of the planet going to tap on her door and say, "Look, can you write me a song?" I can see that already because she has that 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 level of quality when it comes to writing, especially with the melody structure as well. Now, what I saw also is mum and dad. I saw I saw Dad when it came to the, the the mixing and producing, and see how far he's come from when he's done his shots from when he was fourteen years old, um, when Pucciariani was fourteen and, and younger, and it's so amazing. He's taking his time. As I said, this is you're going to see sheer love, and that's what you saw. You saw sheer love. The design of what Pucciariani was wearing, you know, that's mum. Come on, um, it's also got the jewelry in here, supported by um, is it Amarillo? Um, jewelry, lovely. I saw it on the fingers, uh, 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 the brooch, but 
I love the family taking part in it. I don't think it would have been any more magical if it was a non-family orientation thing. It would have been it would have been of a different caliber. I love that. I hope this family unit continues to support not only support Pucciani, you know, standard support in taking everywhere and all that sense, but being involved in what she is doing. You know, it's just an amazing thing that any family can have from the sisters, mum um, and dad, and I'm sure there's aunties or whatever involved in that as well. But it's, I love that, that nature, rather than at, at any 16, 17 year old um, artist, it's by mum, by dad, and they're off. <laughs> Do you know? It's not like that. The support is that, and I think that, you know, the audience as well is that family orientated feel as well. You know, that the whole family can sit down and watch her rather than that singular person within that family. She caters for everything. She caters for all. And time over and time over time, she keeps improving it to us. <laughs> for that reason, I said, Boom! Uh, don't you take it back?